Hey guys, what up? Let's get into some Django programming with the latest version of Python, Python 3, uh, 3.4 I think it is. Just go to Google, we're going to go to Python, we're going to get the latest. And um, this is actually a little bit risky because typically a lot of the libraries and things that Django might be using might not work with the latest Python, but if you want to be cutting edge, um, this is definitely the way to go. So we're going to grab the latest one which is just uh, released in May, 3.4.2. And um, Let's go ahead and once that's downloaded, it'll have an installer. So just go ahead and install it on your machine. I'm using Windows. As far as development's concerned, I'm going to be using Visual Studio, but you can use whatever editor you want. And I use the latest Visual Studio. It's a little unorthodox for Python development, but um, yeah, there are free editors out there, so you can use whatever you want. All right, so I'll be installing um, Python 3.4.2. All right, once that's done, we now have a working copy of Python 3 on our system. Let's go ahead and open up a command prompt. Now, one of the things on my machine here is I have Python 2.7 installed, and that's actually already added to my command line. So if I type Python into the command prompt, you can see that it's finding 2.7.8. So I need to actually fix that. All right, so what you want to do if you're in Windows 8 like I am, uh, you can right-click on the Windows icon. It's actually Windows 8.1. Uh, but you go to your control panel and your system. Click on System again. Over on your left, you'll see Advanced System Settings and click on that. Click Environment Variables. Go to your path, and we're going to edit that. And on the end, make sure there's no spaces. Put a semicolon. And we need to figure out where we installed Python 3. So let's go ahead and look at that real quick. And you can see I have uh, Python 27 and Python 34. And you can see Python 34 is actually the same name Python. So I actually want to change the exe of it. I'll just call this uh, Python 3.4. And then over here I'm going to add the path variables just like I have with Python 2.7, so that shit is... I'm just going to copy all this. So it's Python 2.7. It's going to be um, Python 3.4. One second. So we'll do just straight C colon forward slash Python 3.4. And then we'll do Python 3.4. And just go ahead and select OK, OK, exit out of that. Let's go ahead and try to open up the command prompt again. If I say Python 3.4, you can see that it now finds Python uh, inside the 3.4 directory because there's no 3.4 in the 2.7 directory. If I just did Python, uh, one second, fucking neck hurts. Um, if I just did Python, uh, it would find the 278 version. So anytime I want to do any development with Python 2.3, I'm sorry, 3.0 series, I'm just going to do Python 34, and it'll work. So, all right, um, now that we've done that, let's go over to Google, and um, we're going to put in this link here. And this guy's a, a goddamn genius. He's put together a lot of Python libraries here for all the different Python versions for most of the uh, major libraries out there. So this thing is just a, a treasure trove of libraries that you're going to need to do development with. We're looking for virtual environment. Um, it's that, it's an important thing to have anytime you do Python development so you can create different Python environments because um, whenever you have libraries that you're using, some of those libraries only work with certain versions of Python. Uh, or they have to be hacked up to work with a particular application that you're building. So you want to make sure you can find that environment for whatever sort of application that it is that you're building instead of just adding all these libraries to your Python path and, and creating a big mess that doesn't work with everything. Um, so that's the purpose behind virtual environment. I have the AMD 64 installed, so I'm going to do this one. So 
So I'll just run through and it'll install correctly. If it doesn't install, it means you didn't, uh, you don't have Python 3.4 or the right one selected. All right, let's go to our C drive here. I'm, I'm going to put inside my projects directory a folder that pertains to this tutorial series, and we're just going to call this thing uh, Python 3.4 tutorial. Okay, and let's go back and open up a command prompt. And let's go into that folder that we just created. Fuck, what did I call that? All right, there we go. Alright guys, now in order to use a uh, Python virtual environment that we just installed, Windows you have to do a workaround because it's typical Microsoft garbage. Uh, but what we're going to do is we have to use the PyVNV, PyVNV, I can't even pronounce that. We have to use that library though in order to create the virtual environment. So in order to do that, since we've already added the Python um, to our path, we can type Python 34 and that'll be fine um, so that Windows knows where to find Python 34. Um, then we have to give it the path to where it can find the uh, virtual environment that we installed. So we're going to do c colon forward slash python 34 forward slash tools forward slash scripts and then we're going to uh, forward slash again p-y-v-e-n-v -E that's the actual command for virtual environment and then all we got to do is simply give the name of our virtual environment um, so I'm always I always do a real bad job when I come up with a name to a virtual environment, um, and really names are failing me right now. You know what? We're gonna go with like a um, Greek name, Hercules. Oh, fuck, that didn't work. Uh, one second. I am not sure why that didn't work. One second. All right, so Python is being found. I could try it with a forward slash. Can't open file. Oh, I'm a dumbass. It's because I have a CD there. I knew it was something stupid. All right, um, it's the CD. It's supposed to just be C. You guys probably saw that. All right, and that will work. This will take just a few seconds here to set up because what virtual environment's doing, it's actually gonna install something called pip, which will allow you to easily install other libraries just by doing a pip command. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that now. When we directory in, you can see Hercules is there. If we CD into that, and we look at what we got, we got um, this uh, lib, go into that, site packages, cspace site packages, and then you can see in here that it installed pip like I was telling you about, also easy to install. Those are two um, popular me methods of installing libraries. And uh, right now we need to go ahead and um, enter into that environment. All right, go back to the command here. We're going to go cd space um, scripts and directory into that. And then you just have to say activate.dht, I believe. All right, and now after you do that, you can see that it has over here on the left-hand side this Hercules. It means that you're actually in your virtual environment now. So anything that you, like if you do a pip install, pip is going to try to install something. I installed, I tried to install something that I knew was, wasn't going to be there. Uh, but you can see the pip was using, and, and it was using the pip from the virtual environment that we just created. All right, guys, well, that's where we're going to cut this video short, just under 10 minutes, and that's how you install Python 3.4, add it to your Windows path. Um, also explains how you can use multiple versions of Python at the same time, how to install a virtual environment, and then how to activate virtual environment. All right, guys, uh, talk to you later. Bye.